Hello YouTube, this is Joe from Team Death Meta giving you a deck update today. Um, this is probably my favourite deck at the moment playing. Um, as you can tell by the title of the video, it's my Photon slash Galaxy deck. Um, I am really thinking of sticking to this deck for like... would say, just to make it a sh short way of saying it, forever. Because it's my favourite deck at the moment. Fits my kind of play style of spamming up high beaters um, very easily. Um, I know it's going to get um, support um, via the because of Kaito in the manga and anime um, playing this deck. Um, and yeah, it's just really fun to play at the moment. I've been play testing a lot in Dev Pro, which I just recently got, and it's doing extremely well. Um, it beats Elemental Dragons very kind of fairly easily, you could say. Um, it's beat Mermails, it's beat in Spellbooks, and so much other stuff, Heroes and all that. Um, and yeah, it's just extremely fun, and I just want to share the um, updates with you lot. Um, so here we go, we got starting off the deck, we've got three Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, kind of like your main boss monster. the of the main deck, um, easily um, searchable and uh, splashable, you could say. Um, just so much support for him in the deck, get him out very easily. Kind of like his own little lock with his effect, not of um, banishing, easily chainable to other stuff. Uh, so long as you've got your back row to protect it, which this deck kind of um, does most of the times. Um, and even if he does go, you've got so much stuff to bring him back, it doesn't even matter. But free him, I feel free is the best number. I've been thinking of dropping it to two and switching it with something else, which I'll show you later. Um, but at the moment, free is working very fine. Um, then you've got your Galaxy Knight, you've got your Galaxy Knight support pretty much. Um, I did manage to get uh, three copies offline for a very good price. Um, but yeah, finally went to Galaxy Knight. Um, but yeah, very good card. Pretty much a reborn for Galaxy Eyes. Um, very easily summonable, rear effect of other support in the deck. Um, searchable, and yeah, it's just an all around good card. Really like Galaxy Knight. Then Light Darkness, this is what I'm thinking of upping to two in exchange for one of the Galaxy Eyes. But at the moment, one's doing very well. It's pretty much a reborn in itself um, for this deck. Um, just locks your opponent just on its own. Um, once you get him out, you don't really need anything to be set. You kind of don't want anything to be set because when he's destroyed, he takes everything else with him on your field. But then you get to revive a monster, which is mostly for me a galaxy ice photon dragon. Um, but great card. And just messes with so many decks at the moment. Um, then you've got uh, one of your main searches which is free Galaxy Wizard. Um, search is anything ga with uh, Galaxy in its name. So you got your, um, I mostly search out my Galaxy Eyes to set up future plays. Or I search out some of my Galaxy spells which I'll get to in a bit. Um, rarely search out Galaxy Wizard itself because most of the time I have it in my hand or I mostly just search it via the galaxy spells but I do sometimes search it out but you got three of him which is a great card and great for level 4 exceeding and rank 8 exceeding as well then for the photons we got the three flashes um, kind of your main level 4 other than wizard um, search up lots of combos with him and somebody else in the deck you got you can go into most levels um, it, brings out rank 4 options and with the help of this guy for two photon satellites you got rank 5 options as well which is very good and satellite is just so good in this deck I think 2 is the best number 3 I think would just be a bit too much because there's times I have this in my hand and it's just like yeah I don't really need to because I don't have a flasher or a galaxy eyes on the field at the moment um, but I think 2 is the best number, for and satellite is very good, um, and yeah, sets up the lock, plays with exceeding. 
Then to run monsters, we've got one honest because everything in here is a light, does very good, and two effect breaker. Moving on to spells, we have three photon sanctuary. I've never dropped this down to two. Three is just the best number for me. I get it at three. If just at three, you know you're going to see it and you kind of do need to see it because this brings up so many combos in the deck and sets up so many plays makes your galaxy eyes is in your hand playable makes your line dark it's easier to summon but this is pretty much the only way I summon light and darkness dragon as well I don't summon by any other ways um, and yeah just felt like actually just does so many combos in this deck two galaxy expeditions yeah went up to two from my last build um, because with the additions of the Galaxy Knights and the third wizard, you kind of need this at two. Um, three is just too much, you don't need it at three. Um, two is the best number. Um, strange enough, you see it when you need it. And if you don't, it's just because it's in your opening hand, which is fine. Um, but yes, I mostly, pretty much I think all the time, just summon out Galaxy Eyes with this card. Because you want Galaxy Eye sometimes in your graveyard, I actually you kind of do want him in your graveyard because that's where he's most easily played, other than the hand if you have a Sanctuary. But yeah, Galaxy Expedition is very good. One Galaxy Zero because it's just a monster reborn. Pretty much that's just mostly what it does. Reborn, sets up plays. Staples, you've got your actual reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, two MSTs, um, Pot of Avarice. Uh, Book of Moon, Book of Moon's so good in this format, it's unbelievably good. Um, it's just pretty much your answer to Elemental Dragons, it really is. There you go, especially for this deck, because you'll mostly have a Galaxy Eyes or something, or big rank hit AXEs. And they go, drop the big play, get out their big eye, and you just go, Book of Moon, what are you going to do? You just wasted your big play. Which is pretty much elemental dragons. I don't get with what people say. They're not that overpowered. They're not that great. It's just they do so much stuff, and it just confuses you. But really, they just set up for a rank seven play. Which is all they do, and then they just use their spells to bring back their hand. That's just all they do. So I don't get the big hype over them. Um. So, but yeah. Anyway little rant aside um, but yeah Book of Moon is just so good uh, one for Boon Lance for protection and two trade-ins for draw power I did finally get a second trade-in I'm trying to get a third one off a of mate I need to talk to him about it um, then for traps um, pretty much my still traps at the moment you've got two Dark Bry for protection two Mill Force because Mill Force is good um, no torrentials in the deck because you kind of want to keep your field presence. Um, mill force is just when you don't have your field presence, or if you do and you you fear that they're actually going to somehow get over your 3k hitters. Um, but yeah, that's just why I got two mill force instead of one mill force and a torrential. Um, double compulse because compulse is as well amazing in this format. Elemental dragons, spell books, whatever. Um, just like Book of Boon. And one Phoenix Chain because you kind of need the Phoenix Chain at times um, when the prophecies go for their High Priestess, which is pretty much the only outs to you, the High Priestess effect. So you go, Phoenix Chain, no, you're not going to pop me at all. Um, so, and Elemental Dragon as well with the big eye. Um, for your XCs, I'm going to go fours first. So you got your Photon Pappy, your Blade Armor, your Excalibur, uh, two Utopia, and Starly Pally Dynamo. Um, these are pretty much the rank fours that I will mostly go into. Um, I have Steel Swarm Roach in the side deck, just in case I do go up against Elemental Dragons. Um, I could probably swap it out with the Photon Pappy because they don't really set much at all. Um, Blade armor is just a easy two hit attacks. We got two flashes. You got blade armor, smack smack. Excaliburs for again two flashes. Go for the big one hit. 
Uh, Utopia and Star League are the main rank fours I actually go into. Um, Star League is just a great monster in general. It's a little draw power in himself. When he's destroyed, you get to draw a card. Um, and it just negates the monster effects and make them zero. So it's a good, you know, one hit play just to get rid of something that's annoying you on the field. And the two Utopia, I always feel like I need the second Utopia because I'll go into him most. Because you go, if I have a rank for first turn play, I'll go into Utopia because I know I've got protection that way. But once that's done, I don't have an Utopia for when I actually do need saving. So I keep two. That's the rank fours. Um, well, the two rank fours. And you've got the shopmaster as well. Because it's shopmaster, because why not? For your rank fives, you've got Crimson Ninja, Tyrius, and number 61, Volcasaurus. Sh Crimson Ninja is so good. I love Crimson Ninja, especially if I go Thrasher Satellite Turn 1. I will always bring up Crimson Ninja. Because Crimson Ninja is just a stall. He is a, such a good stall. He, every time I bring it out, I will mostly be alive for at least three turns, max. Probably even four, that's pushing it. Just because they have to waste so much on this card because he can just protect himself all the time. And 2 one hun two 400 is a good number. Tyrius, I rarely go into Tyrius. Because to me, Tyrius is mostly good just because it can pop stuff, but I have to do battle. And for that, I would just mostly go into Vulcan Source because I uh, sure guarantee that it's going to pop something. But Tyrius is better than Aegis at the moment because Aegis is just a less good version of Vulcan Source now. Um, for your rank 9 Dyson Sphere, um, this is pretty much Galaxy Eyes and satellite I mostly go into Dyson Sphere. It's pretty much the only way I go into Dyson Sphere. Dyson Sphere is so good. Um the only sad thing is he doesn't protect himself via card effect in, only by battle. But it's still a great monster to go into. I mostly go into when I have another big hitter on the field anyway. Um but Dyson Sphere is really good. And uh, for the rank eights, um you got hit Herat, Sandra Ergen, Overlord of Heliopolis. Might get a second one, I'm not sure, depending how much he is. But Heliopolis is good for a popper. Um, two, number 107, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. S pretty much the main rank 8 I go into. Such a good card. Just messes with the opponent's protection plays and during the battle phase. Just got battle phase, detach. All your monster effects are negated. Oh, and if you're thinking you're doing anything else like gores or trag, I'm just going to get a thousand attack and take you again. Um, managed to get a ghost rare deal with my mate. Um, such a lovely, such a lovely card. Love this card. Great monster. And to round it off, you got no, Neo Galaxy Eyes for a time. So it can be done, it can be easily done, but you kind of tend to not to. I tend to not to go into him much, which is a shame because I love this guy, he's so good. But he, he can waste up your, your resources a bit, and if he does get stopped and then bounced back by something annoying like Convulse, you kind of just wasted your advantage that you could have just had in backup if you just played Tachyon Dragon instead. Um, but yep, that's the deck guys. I don't really can't really show you the side deck as much because there's not much done to it. Um That's why I show you my new sleeves. For the main deck I got tacky on sleeves and for the extra I got high score there's psycho sleeves, which is oh, so nice. Um But that's the deck people. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gives a gives some advice to any of your photon decks and any ideas that you're kind of thinking of playing. Um, Photon's very good. I think there's a lot of potential in Photons and they can stand up to the meta if built correctly. And at the moment I think this is probably one of my best builds and will probably be the build that I'll be using if, when I go to my next tournament. Um, which should hopefully be next week. Um, but again, um, thanks for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.